So now you look at Bukoti in sports, the way they play. Mm -hmm. Speaking about the spaces that Mambi Sundowns utilized, mm -hmm. it's one of those teams where they believe or it's 1v1. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so it becomes a little bit easier to, to create just a space by just moving away from, from the position. So now you're going into the next fixture where you're playing Alakli. Totally mm -hmm. different team where yeah. there's more discipline in terms of the system itself, defensively, even attacking as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it's going to be the approach or the approach that we need to be able to, 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 to beat Alakli? I think we can, uh, my military sentence can use the same approach. Mm. I don't see them having any problems with playing the same system, mm. Mm. even the same lineup. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, looking at Alakli, the past three, four matches, yeah. especially the Club World Cup, mm. where they won 3 0, mm -hmm. the first match, and the second match they, they won 1 0. Mm -hmm. They were playing 4 1 4 1. Mm -hmm. mm. And they played Madrid, mm. where they they lost. They lost, they lost four four one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they changed the system to the, uh, even the players. They four four one one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and then they went on to play Flamingo. Mm -hmm. They lost four two mm. to Flamingo. They played four four two. Mm. So I think this is a coach who's trying to find balance in the team mm. and expect the same four back line. Mm. And uh, Dieng. Yeah, Dieng, Dieng, Dieng. and Dieng. Because yes. mm. oh, most of the time it only changes the, the white players and the front players. Yeah. So now you think you think now with, with that, playing against the coach that is still trying to find the system, trying to find the right balance of the players in between the pitch, uh, within the system that he has, do you think or maybe now it can be that moment for Sundowns to start dominating uh, for sure, they, 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 they've got that upper hand. Remember, they just won, you know, two matches in this Champions League yeah. already. So for me, I think the boys are high in confidence, mm. and but we mustn't forget that we're playing Alali. Yeah. Um. The the approach, as Lange said, has to be the same, positive. Yeah. You know, looking for that three points because yeah. uh, it's more than just a three point match. Yeah. It's it's, it's a South Africa versus. Uh, uh, Egypt. So, mm. as 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 you you approach the match, you approach with a very very clear mind to say, you don't have to go to Cairo and force a win. Yeah. But you can go there and uh, even cancel them because if you come up with a point, you're still on seven. Yeah. And and they're still gonna have to uh, cancel each other. Mm. So mathematically, you you stand a, po a good position of mm. saying, no, I've got seven point. I'll I'll deal with whoever, whoever comes whoever here comes at, home, yeah. at home. So mm. I think. Uh, Looking at the way the team is is, is at at this present moment, they are very in a very very good position. Mm. Um, the personnel that we we used in in, in Cameroon, mm. Langa, we just sum it very well that they can easily use the same, the same lineup, system. you know, mm. same system, same lineup. I think we stand a chance of easily, easily, easily beating Al Ali. There's something that I can't avoid. Yeah. The streets they speaking about PC and <laughs> Keshas yeah <laughs> on this fixture so yeah. it's no longer okay it's as much as it is about sundowns and alakhli yeah. the history behind because yeah. they remember the last the previous fixture was coach pito and and coach mangova now it's about pesi and Keshas, and yeah. these are the products of memory sundowns development mm. yeah how do you feel about that well, for me i think it is something we should be proud as, mm. a, as a country to to even talk about such a, a big match of this nature and we yeah, talk about yeah. the young players that mm. i will be you know watching on on the come weekend you know these are the pro the kids that we saw growing mm. and to see them you know doing so well in this league even in this tournament for me i think we should be very very proud um we, we know the different mentality of this tournament but i just know the kids they are happy to play the game mm. we know percy when he started with, with us we, we, th we never doubted his ability. Yeah. Um, we never doubted his mentality as mm. a player. Um, I can see that I can say the same about Keshia. Mm. I haven't played with him, but I can, from where I'm, I'm sitting, looking at this kid, he's excited to play the game. He's mm. excited to score goals. Uh, uh, you want to see that as, as, a, as a former player to mm. see somebody who is one to play football and want to score goals. And mm. I, I'm so happy to see these kids playing football. And also, and I, and I, and I read somewhere, Klompo, that when you said. Um, it's important for for Keshas to be protected. A big time. Big because time. Big we've time. seen so much, so many youngsters with so much potential 
they play well first couple of months and then they disappear. Mm. And also you look at how Koshulan was managing Kishas in the beginning of the season, you know, mm. came in, coming in as a cameo, you know, mm. last 10 minutes and being brought out. I think he only got his big opportunity when... Uh, Peter was injured. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know, when Peter was injured and then, then Kishas then took off now. Mm. So now coming into into such big game, I'm probably maybe it's going to be one of the biggest games that Kishas has ever played. Mm. What do you, if you were in the dressing room right now with Keisha as we're playing tomorrow, what would you say as a captain of the club? Well, I think um, w what I mentioned before was simply because I, I was just concerned about the, mm. the amount of, of, of you know, hype they're giving the kid. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they're giving him so much responsibilities yeah. at this mm. age to carry a team of this nature. Mm. So it's, it's just um, it's a good thing and a curse at the same time yeah. because we're talking mm. about a kid who has never been you know, being exposed in these pressure matches. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't want uh, Keshias to even think about scoring goals. Yeah. He must just be happy to Enjoy be on the, the field and, yeah. and, and, and the things will come to, to, to on, 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 on his way because when you don't think about too much about stuff, they fall, they fall into place. Yeah. So I, I, would, I would try, if, if I would be in that change room, I would easily not give him any responsibility whatsoever mm. this season is for him to explore this uh, league, to explore what he's capable of doing. Yeah. I know, and we all know what he's capable of doing as yeah. a footballer. We have seen that in matches. Yeah. But we, I, I would easily sim uh, give him that um, level of enjoyment, just just give him that freedom to enjoy, mm. you know. Um, but he must know the responsibility that he's carrying, wearing that jersey to yeah. say, we don't take anything for granted. We have to win every match that plays. And also it would be very interesting to probably maybe to speak to him when the season is done to find out from him as to what is it that he has learned mm, within the season itself. Actually, things that he actually. should be able to improve. Because in the first season, you don't want to put pressure on mm -hmm. him. You want them to learn. Because I think the best experience, the you know, game. Mm. the games, yeah. you need to learn from that. And mm. then maybe second season, because mm. now people now have figured you out. How do you mm. elevate your That's game? How do you become better? Yeah. And I think that would be a nice conversation to have with him. Hopefully one day we'll have him on the show. Yeah. Hey, brah. Thanks, uh, Fiti, for coming through. Hope, hope to see you soon also on the show. Nice to see you, my brother. Thank you. 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 Thank don't forget the name of the show is Pitchside Podcast and thank you very much for having us. Thanks Langaman for coming through Tompa as always. We are out. Hola seven, Masandawana.